If it's been a while since your partner held your hand, gave you a big squeeze or tapped your butt like they used to without trying to initiate sex, congratulations. You're in a completely normal relationship. The majority of the complaints about this issue come from women who've been in a relationship for a while. These women believe that their male partners only approach them when they want to have sexual relations with them. Even though this is perfectly normal, there is no reason why anyone should make do with less physical contact if what they really want is more frequent, light-hearted expressions of affection. Being touched in non-sexual ways is important, studies show it leads to greater satisfaction, greater emotional intensity and stronger communication in a relationship. According to a 2019 poll by the Kinsey Institute, 90% of those in committed relationships ranked contact as very or extremely important to creating closeness, while 47% claimed their partner doesn't touch them enough. When a person only touches their partner when they want sex, the partner can develop negative feelings towards them and their libido can take a dip. Then, the initiating partner can feel hurt, and any efforts to have sex begin to carry negative energy. There's no single reason this happens to couples, but common causes include simple logistics, busy schedules making it difficult to find the time, or feeling touched out, having children attached to your hip all day. More often than not, it comes down to communication problems. Here's what to do. Get close and personal. You know the old adage, treat others how you want to be treated? Apply that here. Touch your partner throughout the day to show them how much and how often you'd like to be touched. It might not be easy that the partner who wants more touching may not want to put in more effort, but it could be what's needed to build the non-sexual habits you desire. Say something spell it out. Tell them what you enjoy, and why you like it. If your partner just isn't receiving the message, I love when you kiss my neck when we make dinner because it feels sensual and loving or if a couple knows what messages they're sending to one another through touch, they'll be more interested in intimating touch in the first place. While this tactic could make someone feel like they're being forced to show affection, can sometimes be a turn of, but this straightforwardness is actually healthy for the relationship. The formation of a stronger bond can be accomplished by offering a suggestion, a solution, and positive reinforcement. Find the problem. Lack of touch could be a sign of a deeper issue. For instance, I may be less physical with my partner when I am tired, whereas you may be less physical with your partner when there's something bigger going on. The same behavior can have an entirely different meaning. If communication doesn't work, it could be a good idea to book time with a therapist or counselor. You may have been feeling touch-starved for a variety of reasons, but until you put in the effort to investigate the issue, you won't know what those reasons are. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.